search folders display all Outlook messages that match a certain criteria, no matter what Outlook folder they're stored in. So we can see search folders here on the left-hand side under all of your other Outlook folders. And let's create a few sample search folders. So you right click on search folders and click new search folder. And this is a search folder that is going to display all messages that are mail flagged for follow up. So we click on that and we click OK. So this is going to search our Outlook and display all messages that have the little red follow up flag there on the right hand side. So we'll right click on search folders again. And we'll create a new search folder. So this is another common search folder, mail from and to specific people. So it keeps all mail from specific people in a certain context, but we can also do things like mail with specific word, mail with attachments. But to start with, let's do mail from and to specific people. We're going to choose the people. So this one is just going to be Blair. I'm going to add that. Now I can add multiple people if I want, but we'll just do one to start with. So this is going to search across all my Outlook folders for Blair Munro and it will display all messages from Blair that meet that criteria in this search folder called Blair Munro. So let's create another one here. And let's create a search folder that searches for specific words in an email. So we're going to choose the words now. And this is going to search for emails that contain the words Microsoft Online Services. And then we click Add. And we can do multiple words, but I'm just going to say Microsoft Online Services, and we click OK. And this is going to search my inbox for all messages and also my conversation history, actually, from Skype for, biz for business, for words containing, or for messages containing Microsoft Online Services. So let's create another search folder. And this is going to be a custom search folder. So you can also get quite advanced with the search terms that you use. So we can search for words in not just the entire email, but in a subject field only. Uh, and that also meets certain criteria, whether it's I'm the only person in the sent item, it's from a specific person, or I'm the only person in the carbon copy line, or it was sent to a specific person, whether it was sent or received during a particular time frame. We can also search for emails that match a specific category. So we have the color categories here in Outlook. We can also search for only items that are unread or only items with one or more attachments and we can search based on the importance, normal, high or low. We can also search for only items which are flagged by me or marked completed or have no flag. And we can also match the case in a word. We can search for messages based on their size and we can also use advanced criteria. So this allows us to choose from any of the fields that are in say documents or uh, in any of the mail fields and we can set the criteria based on those as well. So we have quite an extensive range of options to define our search folders here. So let's just look at one at random, say frequently used fields. We want to look at the carbon copy field, whether the carbon copy field contains or is or doesn't contain a certain value. But we're not going to create this search folder. We'll just cancel these and that is the introduction to search folders. So they're quite powerful ways to search across all email in your Outlook. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment or make an inquiry at elliot at gcits.com.au.